five words that also mean it's back to school season. May bago na akong bag. Yeah. What's up you guys and welcome to Magic 89.9. My name is Joy Spring and today we are going to be talking about the life of a DJ. I am a part of the show called The Rundown that happens Mondays to Thursdays here on The Magic 3 to 6 p.m. with Erin Atayde and Jam Fruit Preserve. So uh, just to give you a preview of what happens inside the booth, what happens before we go on air and what happens during. So let's go. Going on my second year palang this coming August. So it's gonna be my second year in August 4, 2016. Now I remember the date exactly because I remember starting out on radio like two days after my mom's birthday. So I was still partnered with Boom Gonzalez at that time. I was doing the morning show. And beforehand I had no experience in radio whatsoever. But a quick fun fact is that my first ever Guesting on radio was right here on Magic 89.9 with the Boys Night Out. So I sang for Boys Night Out, and at that time, ina asad na kami ni Sam, Sam YG. So people were making fun of me and Sam YG already, and I remember that we even sang a song at that time. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess it's kind of like at first I was really scared of it because you know being a radio DJ you have to be on your toes every single day for a good three hours in a day and try to be interesting and you can't really be just attractive you have to be interesting and, and tickle people's minds right so the best part of it is really exercising myself and how I think getting to know myself more what really interests me and at the same time what will have to be connecting with people every single day you get to talk to them on air even if you don't see their faces you know you get to voice out your ideas and then sometimes when you're lucky they give out their ideas to you through twitter or when they call on the show so i think that will have to be the best part of the job and we get to play uh today's best music so that's awesome I burped and I said a bad word because I didn't know that Aaron turned on the mic already. What else? We had this thing called Awai 899 with George of the Love Survivor, Sam YG, and myself, um, which is related to NMF in the sense that. Jojo and I did Chubby Bunny challenges and he also guessed it on the show, right? And Sam YG, for some reason, got really pissed off at him and they fought. It was Awai 899. So they had to clear things uh, between Sam and Jojo they did it on air and then they called me so i was eating nachos i'm not even kidding like you can listen to this on the internet i was eating nachos with my lola in sms while on the phone with boys night out trying to fix things between jojo sam and myself i don't think it's weird but i always have my coffee and i would what would i do I do this every time before I host. I read something. Um, I feel like I'm I'm more... What's the term? I make more sense when I read before I speak. Um, I'd like to think that, you know, when you kind of refresh your memory as to how sentences are nicely strewn or as to how you would want to be sensible, you know, reading your favorite quote or kind of just seeing Jimmy Fallon or your favorite hosts on the internet. It gives you that energy that you want to, to have during your show, really. So that's, I don't think that's weird, but that's something that I do most of the time. Oh my gosh, we always have sisig from downstairs and also a double flakes pasta. And me, for some reason, I've always 
Eaten Crunch chocolate bars. As to why, it's only because they don't have Reese's peanut butter in 7 Eleven downstairs. Edge of Desire by John Mayer. And also, I want you to be my inner kid, baby. Hey. Uh, CG and likes it. It's Fetty Wap. <laughs> Oh, so many. Uh, Carly Rae Jepsen, I'm sorry, you're a wonderful girl, but I really hate your songs. What? It's true. I hate, and I also, oh my gosh. Okay, only because it's really a bad LSS, probably Lawson's money. I give you everything. 